If you love working with pearls, I'm going to show you a really fun necklace design. Hey guys, I'm Alicia and today I'm going to show you how to make a scalloped pearl necklace. So I love pearls. Um, I'm more of a kind of boho kind of look. So I didn't want to do the traditional pearl necklace. So I wanted to add a little bit of wire in there to bring out some like metal makes magic. And so this is kind of what I, my take on the traditional pearl necklace. So let's go over the tools and supplies you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a hammer, bench block, 26 gauge wire, cutter, flat nose plier, some 18 gauge wire, pearls, round nose plier, and something to bend your wire around. I'm gonna use a ring mandrel. Okay, so let's get started. So you're gonna take your 18 gauge wire. I've already cut a couple and they're two inches. I used eight on this necklace. So cut eight and then I'm gonna show you what to do from there. So you've got your wire and then Find something round or use a ring mandrel and you're just going to bend that wire around, not all the way around, but about this shape, kind of just like a U. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is kind of like an organic necklace. So from here, you're going to take, and this is like the most important part of this necklace is how you do your loops because one is going to be different than the other. So the when you're holding this, the one on your right loop, you're going to loop that back towards you. So the loop looks like this. And then on your left side, you're gonna take that loop and loop it to the side. So one is looping back towards you and the other one is looping away, so you can see. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to take your bench block and you're going to sit your little piece and you're just going to hammer that middle part just a little bit. Turn over and hammer just a little bit. You don't need to do much. So that's what it looks like. And now you're going to take your 26 gauge wire. and you're gonna start wrapping this. And I like to hold it up next to that loop with my thumb. And you're just gonna wrap it around probably like four or five times. And then you're gonna take your, your pearl, slide it on. And wrap that pearl where it's sitting on the top of the loop. I'll show you once I get my finger out of the way. And just wrap it around three times. So it looks like that. Then you're gonna add another pearl. Slide it down. Wrap it around three times, and then add your last pearl. So I use three pearls on each little, I'm gonna call it a link, because you're making these into a necklace. Wrap that around three times, or let's do five, because I did five on the other side up at the top. And then cut it off. Take your flat nose plier and just push that, make sure that wire is pushed down so it doesn't catch on anything. And then you're gonna do that same thing eight times. So remember to always make your loop going back towards you on the right. So we're gonna do that same thing. Take your two inch 18 gauge wire Push it around something that's round. Oops. Take your round nose plier, 
always on the right side, roll that loop back towards you. And the left hand side, you're going to roll it to the side. So it looks like that. Come back with your bench block and your hammer. And I'm hammering this to give it some like texture so when I'm wrapping my beads on there, the wire doesn't slip. So now we take the 26 gauge wire again, come up to the top of your loop, wrap it around five times, add your pearl. So your pearl is sitting on top of the bend. If you want to put it on the bottom, you can. It's up to you. Wrap it three times. Add a pearl. Wrap it three times. Add another pearl. And then wrap it five times so it matches the other side when, from where you started. Then cut your tails, push down the wire so it doesn't pick on anything. And from here, I'm going to show you why it's important to always do your one loop coming towards you and the other one going away from you because when you attach these it's going to fit in to that loop and make it hang right because if this one was going back to you couldn't attach them you would have to take a jump ring to connect to to connect them so doing it this way you're cutting out the jump ring so you're just going to open one of those loops, slide it in there, and then close it. So that's going to hang perfect. And you just continue doing that eight times until you get all the way to the end. Add some chain, lobster claw clasp on the back, and you have this really pretty pearl necklace. So let's go back over the tools and supplies you're going to need for this project. You're going to need some 18 gauge wire, bench block, hammer, some pearls, unfinished chain and a lobster claw clasp, flat nose plier, round nose plier, cutter, 26 gauge wire, and something round. I'm using a ring mandrel to bend your wire around. If you'd like to pick up any of the supplies I used today, check out the links below. What other pearl designs would you like to see us make? Let us know in the comments, like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we'll see you later. Thank you.